Um, hello, so today we are going to do problems from bi-weekly contest 100. So the third problem is find the score of an array after marking all elements. So essentially we have a score and we, uh, that we want to return. And the way we calculate that score is that we have an array of positive numbers. And what we want to do is choose the smallest integer, right? And if you have two equal integers that are the smallest um, then you break the tie by choosing the smallest index. Um, and what we want to do is mark every time we take that smallest element, add it to the score, and then take the, the adjacent element, so the element to, to its left and to its right, um, and mark them off, and mark also the, the number itself. right? And then you repeat these steps until all the elements in the array are marked. And then at the end, you want to return this score. So that's what we are being asked. If we take a look at the first example, um, the smallest one first is this value, 1. right? And so we mark it off, and we mark the adjacent numbers. right? So that gives us um, these, these are marked. right? And so the next smallest one is 2. And so we mark its adjacent number, so 5. And now these are marked. And so the remaining one is just 4. We take that. And so for the score, we add just the integer we chose. And so that means we add 1, 2, and 4. 2 here and 4. So that gives us 7. So that's roughly the idea now. Um, OK, so how do we um, solve this problem? Well, the, the easiest hint here is that w every time we want to get the smallest integer, right? Um, and the other thing is that we mark once we take the smallest integers, we, we mark the adjacent one regardless, right? So this already hints that we should use a min heap, right? To just be able to extract the smallest integer. And to be able to tell if a number is that we extracted is already marked because maybe it was an adjacent to a previous smaller integer, then we can just add it to a set and check that set, right? So that should be pretty straightforward. And so let's do that. So what we are going to do is we, we need a, a, a heap. So let me actually just run it on something like this. So let's say we have this array, uh, the first example. So we can just have our heap. But we also, the one thing, other thing the problem says is that if there is a tie, we want to choose the smallest index. So that means uh, in our heap, we want to add both the number and it index, its index so that we can choose the... So we can choose the smallest um, index if two are equal. So if we had something like this, we can end up choosing this one instead of this one, right? That's the idea. And so here we can just add the number in its index. So we add two zero. Basically, we can heapify the entire. Um, we can just heapify the entire um, array, right? And so that would mean something like two zero one one uh, three two, and you get the idea. Right? And every time, we, we want to also um, keep track of market uh, indices so that if we extract something that is already marked, we don't use it. Um, so let's, let's actually just make this array shorter so that we can see what happens. And so we take 4 and 3. Okay? And so first, what is the smallest one? This is the smallest one. So extract 1. And so we extract 1, 1. So our score was first 0. So when we extract this one, we add the value. So it becomes 1. And we add that we mark that this is marked because we just um, used it. So uh, index one, and then we want to mark the neighbors, which are two and three. And so we ma we say that we mark the indices, which is zero and two, right? And now this one is removed, and then we get the smallest, the next smallest, the next smallest is this one. And so what we want to do before adding to the score is to check if this is already marked. If it's marked do not add it to the score and do not mark it adjacent because we are not it's already marked we are not using it and so since this one is already marked we'll just pop it off and not add it to the score and not add it to mark not add anything to market um, and then the next smallest is going to be three this one the index is also already in market set so we don't use it and then the next smallest is this one and so we add it so now our score is five and then we want to um mark it so we say three is marked and its uh, neighbors are ju is just this one index two but that one is already there so we should be good and we return and once our heap is empty we are done okay and we return this as our score so that's roughly the idea now um let's just implement it quickly here so the first thing we want to do is heapify the um 
get a heap out of the array. And so to do that, we can just say, um, Um, okay, so the first thing we need is to he get a heap, right, out of the numbers and their indices. So we can just do this for i and num in the enumerate of nums, right? Um, and we want to heapify that. So heapify pre q, And then we start out with the score equal to zero. And then we do while pre q, We get the number and the index from, by popping off, um, from our priority queue, right? And then we want to have a market set, right? We want to have this market set. And so to do that, we just have market, which is equal to set. And here, before processing an element, we check if it's in market. Only if it's not in market that we add it, right? And then we want to add its neighbors, which are plus one and minus one. We don't need to care uh, to... Um, we don't need to care about whether it's in bounds or not because we only are checking here and we will never check if it's out of bounds. We'll never have an eye like that because um, we are only taking the valid indices here. Um, and so once we do this, um, if it's not marked, we will also want to add to the score the number, right? And that should be it. At the end, we can just return our score. Um, if you make this one, yeah, so that's pretty much um, it here. Uh, we just heapify, get the smallest each time. If it's not marked, take it as part of the score and mark it and along with adjacent elements. Um, if we're on this, it should, it should work, let's submit. And it does pass. Um, now, in terms of time complexity, um, the heapify here is going to take over and log in, right? And heap up is O of log n, and so we we extract at most O of n time, right? The the number of elements in the array. So overall time complexity is O of n log n. Uh, in terms of space, we are using this priority queue, so that's um at m that's O of n, right? Um, and this market set is also at most n elements, so O of n, so O of n space here as well. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for this problem. Uh, please like and subscribe and see you on the next one. Bye.